Bab Dada is once again drawing your attention towards one thing. That according to the present atmosphere, You have to emerge the attitude of unlimited disinterest in your mind or through your heart. To every child, whether living in his household or whether living in a center or wherever he is living. Bhaktada has given many facilities, physical facilities. There isn't any child who does not have enough to eat or enough to wear or is without shelter with those So all of you have enough facilities or essential needs. If someone does not have enough, it is because of his carelessness or laziness. But actually, according to the drama, Bhaktada knows that every child has enough for himself. So all the necessities are of course there and they have to be there. 
but in some places In some places, there is much more than needed, that is, the intense tapasya is much less compared to all the facilities which they have. There is very little being done for intense tapasya. And therefore, on this day, the day you have to, you are to become like the Father. Bhaktada is making you underline it that you have uh, experienced enough of all the physical facilities and whatever you have experienced that was fine, it's okay. But now you have to increase your inner tapasya, that is, you have to bring in you unlimited disinterest. You saw Brahma Baba even till the last moment he gave everything, so many facilities to the children, but but he himself was away from those facilities. To have everything and still not and still be away from them. That is real disinterest. To have to not have and say I have unlimited disinterest and say well I don't have anything, I don't have anything. That's not unlimited disinterest. But to have everything and with the help of knowledge and the feelings for world benefit, as well as with the feeling of glorifying the Father, instead of going for facilities just as at the beginning of establishment it's not that facilities were not there 
But you were sort of in a bhakti of unlimited disinterest for the 14 years you did tapasya. That was actually an atmosphere of unlimited disinterest. And now Bab Dada has given you many facilities. Actually, there is nothing lacking where facilities are concerned. But in spite of having the facilities, there is need of unlimited disinterest. At this time, the need is of this that is especially for the benefit of the souls of the world because people because the desires are increasing in the people's minds the souls are under the influence of desires and because of that they are in complete distress Even if somebody is a multi, multi millionaire, still because of the desires in them, even they are in distress. The main reason for the distress in people is because of the limited desires in them and such an atmosphere is growing. But you are the souls who can with your unlimited disinterest Spread in them to the unlimited disinterest. Without the atmosphere of unlimited disinterest which is coming from you, those souls cannot experience peace and happiness. They cannot be freed from the distress. <coughs> You are the roots of the tree, the place of the Brahmins in the tree is shown, where, where is it shown, it's shown at the roots, is it not? Ah. 
Therefore, you are the foundation. Whatever wave you create, that will spread in the world. This is why This is why in order to become like Brahma Baba in the corporeal way is to spread the wave of unlimited disinterest and you and Bhaktada is drawing your attention towards that in particular Let everyone experience that this one is not under the influence of facilities, but he is the one who is for intense tapasya. He has unlimited disinterest in his attitude. Of course, whatever facilities are essential that you have to use. However, as far as possible, Use them with unlimited disinterest, not with the interest of using those facilities. Now create an atmosphere of sadhana, intense tapasya, unlimited disinterest everywhere. As the time is coming close, The real tapasya is unlimited disinterest. <laughs> 